and some curvy queens. We got some unfinished business. Business. Welcome back to Chronicles of the Curvaceous. You know we fabulous in some nations. Dropping faith based weight loss motivation. Yeah, baby. And the Lord God Almighty came to me in a dream last night. Girl, stop filming. I ain't going to say Jesus came to me. See, why are you driving like that, Queen? Because it's dark. I don't have no glasses. No contacts, neither. And Hanty. I was trying not to hit the light pole, honey. No, that wouldn't be crude. That'll be ugly, not ugly. Okay, get serious, for real though. I wish I could zoom in. I'll probably zoom in in a second so y'all can see all my brutal snaps. Honey, I looked at my kitchen yesterday on Chronicles of the Curvaceous, and I was like, oh my God, I need a relaxer. But y'all know I'll do a text lax every six months or so. And last time I got bold and I put a relaxer in my hair. And it was an Optima Care box perm. And I did that. I don't remember. I think I did it. I think it might have been April. So May, June. That ain't been but like two months ago. So my hair showing out already. So I may just go back to my regular um, text lax or either that naturals um, you wash and flat iron it basically type deal uh, um, shampoo system I don't know because um, or I might just go and let Sherry give me a silk press a keratin treatment that's what I probably will do more than likely but that would encompass having to wear my real hair it's a travesty in these weight loss streets. So for real though, we got unfinished business. I had a dream last night. And the dream, oh my God. It was like where we left off on the videos that I had to make private. Like entanglement, you know, and uh, TED Talk of Your Life and um, Beautiful Mistakes. All those videos that I had to make private. I'm making um, make them back public probably this weekend um <laughs> girl you miss but all those videos that i had to make private for a small season i had to pause my real chronicling and i had to resume but i'm gonna resume with a filter tbh because i work for a state agency government <laughs> i don't want to get in trouble i don't want to mess up my life I, I love this new season i'm in so that season taught me and prepared me for this season i will not bring my personal phone in like that i will not use the um uh, computer printer and stuff i will not vlog in the um building i just showed y'all that one bulletin board about rest and everything like that because i learned from that i learned I even publicly apologized and I did everything that I could to redeem myself from, you know, making my antagonist feel antagonized. You know, that's just the real truth about the matter. I, everything, I, my feelings were real, but my approach could have probably been better. So she was in the dream last night and in the dream, God began to show me all the laughs and the wonderful things and the positive, beautiful attributes that this leader taught me and how she was an instrumental tool for kicking me out of the nest. You know, it was time for me to get out of the nest. I cried, I weeped, I screamed, but you know, my, my shell had hatched. The mama bird done cleaned up all the shell um, crackings and everything. And my big old eagle butt sitting in the nest. And she's like, you know, one thing that she told me and I value and I appreciate is that you will be a fool to stay here. I didn't see it that way. I still don't see it that way. Um, because I loved and still love the organization now that I was affiliated with. But there is more in you. So sometimes when you have unfinished business and you have to finish and seal up the deal with the story and, you know, 
a lot. I, nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. And sometimes when you hurt people and they hurt you or whatever, some people you can apologize to them. You can grovel at their feet. You can tell them, you know, kiss their foot and you the most beautiful thing in the whole wide world. And they still need processing time to process the um, hurt or the emotion of, of feeling betrayed. And that's real. And that's, that's natural. So... Now, she was in the in the video, but girl, let me tell y'all, somebody tried to get me distracted, honey, and so I got on the phone, I dialed my sister, I'm like, Zay, what's the 411, yo, tell me, Zay, what's the 411, and she like, uh, press, pass, don't stop at go, <laughs> I love you, sis, I have two sister sisters three but that's another story for another day anyway guys we had the plug what plug the plug planet fitness is back there <sighs> i'm running a little late but not late enough to be late because i ran it back same back time same back channel as yesterday and i had time to come here get my career workout in and get to work on time but let me told y'all though I watch um Chronicles of the Curvaceous last night. And I looked at the editing editing. I said, what the fudge? Honey, I'm learning how to edit on this new um device. And my video was so cute. And then I guess I had held something down too long and were pressing fast forward. Are you serious? All oh, that wonderful vlog footage. And I said, you know what? I'm leaving that video up because it couldn't have been a more perfect, you know, um, indication of how my day went yesterday. It was like, zhoom, I fast forwarded through yesterday. And I was, um, some things maybe should have been omitted from the vlog yesterday. So I say, what God have for to be on Chronicles, it will be. So, you know, guys, it's Fabulosity Friday. But at my new job on Fridays, they wear jeans. So, I'm going to have to get me some of them new cute bell-bottom jeans. I seen some last night. One of my um, favorite YouTubers, Lee Wanta. Oh, yes. Lily was rocking these white bell-bottom jeans. They had the knees out. They were so cute, honey. I think she got them in Dillard's. I'm not sure. And so, I ain't got the jeans to say... It's Fabulosity Friday. So I was like, I should put on something else. But I'm going to put on some jeans and a little cute little um, off-the-shoulder shirt. And some little sandals. My new sandals. Yes. Come through now. I might do something like that. And then call it a, a Fabulosity Friday. Okay? And so those rhinestone sandals. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Mm -hmm. It's Fabulosity Friday, baby. So let's get on in this gym. In the dream was exes, ministerial things that happened, professional things. This is my first big job since I was an optical manager in terms of, you know, the responsibility, the level of responsibility. The accountability level has gone to like 30 you know i had you know i've all my centers i managed whether it was well i had a big job at the group home after that being a program supervisor but i only had like six three to six employees now i have like a hundred so um over 20 30 locations so hey let's do this we got this queen god built you for this you ain't gonna unfinish this business. You finish this business. You don't finish this business. You're gonna get her done. I'll see y'all after this workout. I'll show y'all what I do. Snip if I snip it in this gym. And then this one for you, girl, because Tara, I hate the treadmill. As you can see, I'm putting doing my cool down. But honey, for that 30 minutes on the treadmill, I put in work. I put in work. Lateral pull downs. Here we come. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost hit me. Tears over my face. I take a mess of number.
Hit 20 when I wasn't recording. I mean, so here we go. 61. Got some quick chest presses. Y'all, baby, got her done. Another curvy girl workout complete. Honey, what you did today? Honey, what you did today in the gym? So today in the gym, I did 35 minutes on the treadmill and I did lat pulls and chest presses. Got her done. Queen Fitness ain't gonna be fine without me. I love y'all. About to go home, get jewished up. Oh, I gotta go by Kroger. Today is the um, lady that I'm replacing her last day, and it happens to be her birthday, so gotta go get her something. I love you guys, I really do. But uh, if I don't see you no more in the vlog, let me tell y'all. Unfinished business. Unfinished business. The queen gonna be back and better than ever. Cause you know on the weekend, me and my sister, we stronger together, honey. Cause I ain't heard from that chick. Two days into my new job. Where you at, Queen Fitness? Where you at? But I know you're right here on Chronicles of the Curvaceous. I know you had boot camp. So I love you guys. I really do. If it's the Lord's will, I'll see you tomorrow. But in the meantime embrace and enjoy your journey goodbye for now you really are struggling for caffeine that bad that you gotta put it in your water i'm gonna need you to get your whole life and this is so cute it says i think you're awesome <laughs>